This video is sponsored by RenderHub, one of the best marketplaces for 3D artists, but more on that later. In the last couple of years, we have seen some interesting development in 3D animation. So in today's video, I will go over the best 3D animation software available today. Whether you are a professional, hobbyist, or something in between. And some of the software I will mention, you probably never heard of. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Before we continue, let me tell you about RenderHub. RenderHub is a platform for 3D artists where you can find assets, learn, and share your work. First, they have a gallery with unlimited renders and artwork, which is an awesome place to get inspiration, ideas, and see how others approach lighting, texturing, or compositing, or maybe even share your work and get some feedback. Then there is the blog, which is full of tutorials, tips, and industry updates. The blog is also an easy way to pick up techniques without digging through endless forums or videos. Lastly, you got the marketplace, which is jam-packed with assets, including tons of free ones, like characters, environments, props, vehicles, you name it. You can also put your own stuff in there if you want to sell your work. So click the first link in the description and check out Render Help today. We're gonna start with Roomba a relatively new 3D animation software for character animation. Essentially, you can say it is a fresh take on what an animation-centric tool should be. You can think of it as an animation-friendly alternative to animating in Maya for the most part, with focus on speed and iteration. And here's the thing. Its philosophy is to remove the tedious hurdles that animators face and provide real-time interactive experience. And one of its interesting features is direct manipulation, so, instead of constantly selecting controllers, you can grab a character's geometry, like an arm or a finger, and move it directly, which looks really cool and interesting. Under the hood, Roomba figures out whether to use an IK or FK, or other controls based on what makes sense. So posing feels natural. The selectionless manipulation speeds up posing a lot, and it also has a true layered animation system, so you can add non-destructive layers to tweak animations. Example, you can add a breathing layer on top of an animation cycle, and you can easily adjust or mute them. The layers are timeline-based, with their own timing, and you can drag and drop keyframes between layers or characters. It is really flexible, like how 2D animators use layers, but in 3D. Another strength is real-time performance. Roomba is optimized to play back heavy rigs fast, often in real time, without needing play blasts. The developers even claim that you can animate dozens of production rigs and you can do that in real time thanks to smart caching. But there are many other things that animators might find interesting. For example, Roomba was built to slot into existing pipelines because it is compatible with Maya rigs out of the box. And for experienced animators, it feels like a breath of fresh air because many of its features, like the breath manipulation, layers, real time playback, and so on, remove the annoying parts of animation in older software. And the interface is modern and clean, focusing on the viewport and timeline. New users actually reported that posing characters is very intuitive, as you can see the rig manipulator on the character and just move things without hunting for controllers. And the learning curve is actually fairly gentle, that is, if you already understand the animation fundamentals. Roomba is a commercial software, but it offers options that range from free to studio if you want to check it out. Another exciting newcomer software is Cascador, and it is generating a lot of buzz lately, especially among indie game developers and animators. The main selling points of this software is its AI-assisted, physics-based animation tools that make it easier to create natural motion. Cascador is all about making character animation faster, especially with things that you don't want to do manually. One standout feature is auto-posing, an AI-driven system where you move a few control options, I mean on your character, and the AI predicts a natural forebody body pose. This means you don't have to manually pose every limb. It is like having an assistant fill in a plausible pose for you. Cascador also has an auto physics tool, which applies physics simulations to your keyframes to add realism, including weight, secondary motions, inertia, and so on, while barely changing your original animation style. For example, auto physics can add proper gravity and bouncing effects making it look more realistic on the spot. And you can adjust the slider to dial in how much secondary motion that you like. 
like body shake or overlap. Another huge time saver is AI in betweening, which came in the newest Cascador 2025.1 update. This AI driven in betweening will automatically generate smooth poses between your key poses, and this can drastically speed up blocking in addition to interpolation, which lets you focus on the main poses and the software fills the gaps. You see, Cascador isn't a full 3D animation package like Maya or Blender. It focuses purely on animation. You import your rigged characters and animate them, then export the animations to game engines or other software. And here's the thing. It is a keyframe animation editor at heart, with post controls and a physics solver under the hood. The workflow often involves setting a few key poses, using Cascador's auto-balancing and trajectory tools to refine the character's setter mass and physics, and then letting the AI generate in-betweens and adjustments. It is especially handy for action animations, such as punches, kicks, flips, and so on, where animating realistic physics can be tricky by hand. Cascador comes in free and paid flavors, which is great for indies. The free version is free forever and actually includes a complete animation toolset, including AI posing, physics, etc. The catch is, it can only export in Cascador's own format and it is not for commercial use. You might also have heard of iClone, because I talked about it a couple of times before. It is basically a 3D animation software by Realusion, which focuses on real-time character animation. iClone often flies under the radar in these kind of discussions, especially in professional 3D animation circles, but it has a strong following, especially among indie filmmakers, previous artists, or anyone who needs results quickly without a steep learning curve. iClone's biggest strength is speed and user-friendliness, especially for character animation. You can create or import characters, in addition, Reillusion's companion tool Character Creator helps generate rigged characters easily, then use iClone to animate them with a combination of keyframing and mocap. It supports motion capture natively, so you can plug in an affordable mocap device, like a Kinect or a Sketch sensor suit, or even record on an iPhone for facial capture and get data directly to iClone. There is also a large library of preset motions and an easy-to-use timeline with puppeteering tools. For example, you can move a mouse to animate characters' facial expressions in real time. iClone is often used to lip sync characters quickly. It has an automatic lip sync system, feed it an audio file, and the character's lips start moving. It also has physics for clothing, in addition to props, which are very easy to toggle on. And if you want to polish animations, it provides curve editing and motion layer blending, though perhaps not as advanced as Maya's graph editor. A notable use is virtual production. Because it works in real time, small studios use iClone with Unreal Engine to black out scenes or even drive LED wall productions. It can live link to engines like Unreal, meaning your iClone animations show up in the engine in real time. As you might expect, iClone is a paid software, and the good thing, it is a one-time payment kind of deal, rather than being a subscription. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room, which is Autodesk Maya. This software has been the king of character animation for many years, and it is the go-to tool for major film, VFX, and game studios. It is known for its robust rigging and animation features. Maya offers advanced skinning, a flexible graph editor, and powerful tools for complex character rigs and simulations. It also supports a non-linear animation editor for blending clips. Essentially, if you can imagine a character effect, muscle deformations, facial rigging, physics-driven hair, Maya likely has a tool or a plugin for it. Maya's strength is in its flexibility, in addition to its depth. That's why it is used at the highest levels. Animators can fine-tune every curve and keyframe, and use built-in helpers like Human IK for quick rigging. It even has auto-rigging features to speed up creating biped rigs. Studios also love it because it can be scripted easily with Mel and Python in addition to working with other Autodesk tools, making it especially important for large teams and studios. Here is the thing. Newcomers might find Maya daunting. Its learning curve can be steep, but the rule is, the more complex the software is, the more freedom it can give you, especially when the going gets tough. Many animators say once you learn Maya, other tools feel easier in comparison. So as you can see, it is designed for professionals. But determined indie creators can learn it too, and find it really useful. 
and since it is from Autodesk, it is subscription based and it can be quite expensive for individuals too. That's why Autodesk recently offered an indie license at about $300 a year, that is for qualifying users who are making under 100k per year. Last but not least, we're gonna talk about Blender, the software I recommend using or at least starting with since it is powerful and it is free. In addition, it does everything, not only animation, just like Maya, including modeling, rigging, rendering, and even video editing for that matter. Blender's character animation capabilities have grown tremendously over the years, making it a serious alternative to some commercial software, such as Maya, Max, and so on. Blender offers a great rigging and animation system. It has an excellent rigging toolset, including automatic weight painting and rig helpers, like Rigify. It also supports features like shape keys for facial animation. And one standout feature is the grease pencil, which allows 2D style animation within a 3D animation software. This is great for mixing 2D and 3D or doing hand drawn pose planning. Blender's animation timeline, in addition to the graph editor, are fully featured. In addition, it has nonlinear animation stripes for Blender motions. It also includes physics simulations for things like cloth, hair, rock dolls, and so on and even basic motion tracking and compositing. All of this makes Blender a one-stop shop for indie creator, small animation studios, and even beyond that. And the great thing is that Blender has been tested and proven over the years by the small movies created by the Blender Foundation to showcase its features and capabilities. So take a look at these films just to see how capable Blender is. And there you have it, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up also, please subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.